Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you use the Windows 10 and Windows 11 Photos app that comes bundled by default in both OSs, then the Photos app is expected to get quite a significant update in the future, according to a recent announcement by Microsoft, where they say they are beginning to roll out a preview version of the Photos app built with the Windows app SDK to Windows insiders in the Canary and Dev channels on Windows 11. And they mentioned that this change moves photos to the latest Windows app development platform with modern UR and other quality and performance improvements. Now, just to back a step here just a little bit, if you, if you are unaware what Windows app SDK is, um, basically um, Windows app SDK is a set of new developer components and tools that provides a unified set of APIs and tools, according to Microsoft, that can be used in a consistent way by any desktop app on Windows 11 and also Windows 10. So that's basically what Windows App SDK is all about in a nutshell. They carry on to say that all current Photos app features and functionality uh, is still present in this version, which by the way is version number 2024.11.040.1002.0. And in the stable version, we are on 2024.11.030.15001. Obviously, with that up-and-coming update, um, we can expect to see quite a significant improvement, according to Microsoft, with the Photos app. Now, they also mentioned that although um, all the current Photos app features and functionality are still present, um, given the extensive changes, because obviously this is still early days in the Canary and Dev channels, uh, this version may be a little rough, Microsoft says, around the edges as they continue to polish the experience. So as I've mentioned previously, the Canary and Dev channels um, is where Microsoft does start testing early preview versions of different features. So you can expect a bit of instability. Now, if you are wondering what the benefits of this move will be, the benefits of the Windows App SDK, according to Microsoft, it gives you a unified API surface across desktop app platforms. It brings a more consistent experience across Windows versions. And also, it has a faster release cadence, so a faster release schedule. So those are some of the benefits, over and above some user interface tweaks and adjustments that we could see. So just putting it out there, um, obviously, just to keep you in the loop if you are using the Photos app. And as mentioned, not available as yet to the stable. That's still currently in early stages of development with the Canary and Dev Channel Insiders. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.